to the real time gospel. Praise God. We don't care what the devil don't like this evening. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise God. God is worthy to be praised. Amen. If you call on Jesus, he will answer prayer. Amen. How many of you know he will? Amen. Amen. His ears are open to the righteous. Amen. Praise God. If you call on Jesus, amen. he will answer prayer. Amen. We're going to get into the word. Just call on Jesus. Just call on Jesus. He will answer prayer. If you call on Jesus, He will answer prayer. If you call on Jesus, He will answer prayer. If you call on Jesus, He will answer prayer. Call him when you need him. He will answer prayer. Call him when you need him. Bless you, bless you.
bless you, bless you, good evening, good evening. play one more song. Amen. They requested on last week when I played this song. Amen. Praise God. It was dedicated to my uh, late cousin, uh, Mr. James Wade Jr. He was just talking when we would have conversations. Amen. Praise God. Before uh, his untimely passing, we would talk all the time and we just reminisce on when we were children. Amen. Coming up. Amen. We would go to a town called Fairfield, Texas. Amen. And pick purple hull peas. Amen. And we would go to town. Amen. And sell them for $4 a bushel. Amen. I can't testify about picking cotton. Amen. It was probably some uh, two or three generations before me pick cotton. But uh, I do. I can't testify to about picking purple hull peas. Amen. Listen to a little bit of this, and then we're going to go into the word of the Lord. This is the granny song. It's called a granny song. Many of us had grandparents or grandmothers in our lives who influenced us. This goes back to the late Mr. James Wade Jr. We used to talk on the phone, reminiscing his children. cake in there every now and then. <laughs> Amen. But we thank God for that song. Amen. We're going to get into the word of the Lord. Amen. Want to wish everyone a, a Merry Christmas. Amen. And a Happy New Year, the holiday season. Praise the name of the Lord. But we're going to get into uh, 
of the word of the Lord. Amen. We're going to be coming out of the book of Psalms. Amen. The 147th division of Psalms, the third uh, verse. And the topic tonight, amen, is talking about heart broken. Are you, uh, uh, have your heart been broken? And is your heart broken? Amen. So, dear friends, uh, for whatever reason your heart feels broken, God knows your hurts and he cares for you. Amen. God wants you to know that he cares for you. When the world seems cold and your friends are few, there is someone who cares for you. Amen. Praise God. Are you heartbroken? Amen. Are you heartbroken? Amen. Uh, have you broken someone's heart? Amen. It's a two-way street. Uh, some hearts have been broken and others have broken other people's heart. Amen. Praise God. And so we look at the word heart. Uh, one's innermost character, feelings, or inclinations. You say is a broken heart. Uh, broken hearted. Have you ever felt broken hearted? It says overcome by grief or despair. Feeling unhappiness. Feeling blue. Mm-hmm. Uh, broken hearted. Psalms, the 147th division of Psalm, the third verse said, He healeth the broke in heart. He healeth the broke in heart and bindeth up their wounds. Talking about God. He healeth the broke in heart and bindeth up their wounds. Now, the joy of the Lord is our strength. Amen. The joy of the Lord is our strength. And so the opening scripture that we read tonight say he healeth the broke broken in heart and bindeth up their wounds. It's saying he heals the broken hearted and binds up their wounds. So church Listen, one of the most painful experiences in life is to suffer from a broken heart. Amen. I believe every one of us, some point, some shape, form, or fashion, have suffered from a broken heart. The heart of man is the spirit of man. If your heart is broken, then your spirit is broken. Amen. Say that again. Somebody didn't hear me. Amen. Praise God. If, if, if your heart is broken, then your spirit is broken. Amen. Amen. And Proverbs 17 and 22 says, a merry heart. Doeth good like a medicine, but a broken spirit drieth the bone. Amen. Drieth the bones. And so what are you saying, Henderson? A cheerful heart. Amen. A cheerful heart is good medicine. You know, if you're ever feeling down, it's good to be around cheerful uh, people, people that can uplift you uh, when you're you're down and not you, you're down and out and you need encouragement. Amen. It's good to uh, 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 laughter. They say laughter is good for the soul. Amen. Laughter is good uh, for the soul. Amen. The, the cousin I was talking about uh, a few minutes ago, the late Mr. James Wade. <laughs> Junior, we was first cousins, but more like brothers, amen. And, and I tell you back then that we had a video camera, amen. Some of the some of the pranks that we used to pull on one another, we could have won easily on that 
most funny uh, America's most funniest videos, amen, because we kept one another laughing. We kept uh, one, uh, encouraging one another, having a cheerful heart, regardless of what we was going through, regardless of what the circumstances may look like. We always could find humor and laughter in whatever it was. And, and uh, we used to talk all the time uh, when he would come uh, uh, spend the night over there with us. He said, never fail. Look like y'all run out of gas. Every time I come over here, we always pushing cars. And even in the midst of pushing the car for running out of gas, we were laughing. I mean, we could find some, we could find some humor out of it. Amen. Whatever come up didn't break our spirit. Amen. We was able to encourage one another. Why? Because a cheerful heart is good medicine. Amen. A cheerful heart is good medicine, but a broken spirit saps a person's strength. Y'all probably ain't heard that word in a long time, sap. <laughs> it just, it, it, it drains a person's strength. Amen. A broken spirit. Amen. Praise God. Like you lose your energy. Like you, amen. Praise God. Amen. It just, it, 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 just, uh, it, it, just, it just drains you. Amen. When you have a broken spirit. Amen. Praise God. And so it, it saps all the, the strength out of you. Amen. It says some suffer a broken heart through disappointing relationships. Amen. Have you ever been in a relationship, amen, that caused, amen, not only hardship, but your heart to be broken, amen, disappointing relationships. And I, I think about Jesus and I think about uh, 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 Judas, uh, the one that betrayed Jesus, amen, and praise God and Jesus, uh, Jesus, amen, when they were sitting there, uh, amen, we would say at the Lord's Supper and they was, Jesus was talking and he said there was going to be one that was going to betray him. And he sold him out for 30 pieces of silver, amen. Praise the name of the Lord. God already knew what was going to transpire, amen. And so many times when we have confidence in people and, and they let us down, amen, and, and sometimes with people, amen, who you think is in your corner, praise the name of the Lord, amen, and say things about you, praise God, it have a tendency to break your heart and to break your spirit, amen, praise God, so we have to be careful who we choose to be our friends, amen, we got to be careful who we choose to be our associates, amen, but have you ever been in a disappointing, amen, relationship, amen, praise God, disappointment, Disappointment can cause, oh, bless the name of the Lord, a whole lot of heartbreak. Amen. Heartbreak. Amen. Relationships. Amen. Praise God. A parent and a child. Amen. So many times, amen, it can go both ways, amen. If a father was not in the home, if the, the mother, amen, wasn't a fit mother to the children, amen, it could be heartbreaking to the children, amen, be heartbreaking, amen. Also, if you have a wayward child, amen, you have a, a son or a daughter, praise God, amen, you know you have taught them the right way, amen, it will break your heart. Sometimes it will cause your heart to bleed, amen, amen. you just heartbroken. You say, I, I, train up the, I train up that child, I, I train up that boy, I train up that girl, like the Bible say. The Bible say, train up a child in the way he should go, and when he get old, he will not depart from it, amen. That's just certain, certain things I'm just not going to do because the way I was trained, the way I was trained, amen, praise God, coming up as a child, amen, praise God, my mother, my stepdad, my, my siblings, praise God, we was taught to pray, we ate at the table, he prayed, and, and we had all, all of us had a verse to say, and mine was, blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God, amen, so we was trained, amen, praise God, to pray before we eat, amen, pray, amen, praise the name of the Lord, amen, we were trained to go to church, Amen. Pray God. Somebody say raise, you know, you raise chicken, but you train children like the scriptures say. You train them. And, and we were trained to sing 
in the church. That's why it's so hard for you. I, I can't stop singing God's praises. I, I can't do R&B. I can't do country. I can't do hip hop because I will train, amen, to sing the praises of the Lord, amen, even as a youngster, praise God, not only in the house, but even when I was around my grandparents and my grandfather, amen, he sung and he took me places with him, amen. The funny thing about it, praise God, amen, I know oftentimes when these holidays come around, you reminisce and think about people who no longer with us. They may be gone, but they're not forgotten. But I remember many times we would go to Cleveland, Texas, and my grandfather would sit on the porch, and my mother, grandmother would be in the house. And before I could go in the house, he always had me to sing. He always, always had me to sing this little light of mine. And so until one time my grandmother came out on, on the porch and, and uh, she called him happy. <laughs> happy, let that boy come on in, in, in the house. And so therefore I had to sing <laughs> before I uh, went into the house. And so I, it was because I was trained that way. I was trained to sing God's praise and what that, that, that was instilled in me, and you can't shake it out of me because God is worthy to be praised. And you know what? We can't serve two masters. No man can serve two masters. Either you're on the Lord's side or you're not on the Lord's side. Amen. Pray God. If you strayed away from the teachings of the word of God, if you strayed away from the teaching of your parents, you always could come back just like the prodigal son did. Amen. Repent and come on back home to God. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. I, I, I have so many uh, uh, fun memories, like I said, the relationships. Amen. Praise God. Didn't too much have uh, friends that I ran outside of my family with. Uh, Look like mostly my friends were, were my family. Amen. I'm going to say this, but I remember my cousin, the one I've been talking about, the late uh, 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 Mr. James Wade Jr. I went spending like a couple of times with him. And uh, they called some of the people in the neighborhood and, and said, well, my cousin is here. And, 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 and I tell you what, I thought I was going to take a vacation, but he told me, I'm not going to feed you until you eat. <laughs> and so I had to sing uh, in order to get some food. Amen. So I think about those times. Amen. But we're still talking about a broken heart, a broken heart, a broken heart, or being broken hearted. It say a disappointing relationships. And then it say marital failures. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Amen. A failed marriage. Amen. Will, will cause you mm -hmm, to have a broken heart. And, and so many times, amen, praise God. It's something when saints of God can't get along with one another. There's something wrong with that picture. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. You ought to be able to come to, to some type of agreement. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. If you are a, a child of God. Amen. Amen. You're going to have disagreements because all personality is not the same. Praise the name of the Lord. But you should come to a consensus. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. But oftentimes, amen, when we look at marital uh, failures, amen, praise God. Sometimes, amen, praise God, that we uh, 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 get do do things out of the will of God. And what you talking about, preacher? Well, we the Bible tells us don't be unequally yoked with the unbeliever. And so many times people get desperate on choosing their spouse, amen, choosing their spouse, amen, They're choosing their husband, choosing their wife. When the scripture says, whoso findeth a wife, that's what the scripture tells us. Whoso findeth a wife, findeth a good thing and obtain favor with the Lord. And so many times, uh, amen, we, 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 we messing up from Jump Street, amen, if we don't do what the Lord say and follow God instead of following our emotions. And so many times, praise God, amen, marital failure, amen, praise God, amen, because there's a, a, a lack of communication sometimes, amen, other things, amen, may, may uh, come up that cause, amen, your heart to be broken. Amen. Your heart to be broken. Amen. Number one, it could be infidelity. Amen. That can cause your heart to be broken. Amen. Uh, uh, distrust, not having trust in each other. Praise God can cause one to have a broken heart. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Praise God. I tell you what, it's a whole lot of heartbroken uh, women. It's a whole lot of heartbroken men. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. So I will tell you to seek the Lord. 
Seek the Lord. Amen. Pray about it. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Marital failure. Amen. Can cause heartbreak. Amen. Especially when you have children involved. Amen. When you have children involved. Amen. Not only uh, uh, the, uh, the, the heartbreak, amen, the breaking of the heart, but then a broken home. Amen. A broken home. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Because oftentimes, amen, in that sometimes, amen, the children suffer, amen, if the parents don't know how to uh, uh, co-parent, amen, co-parent, amen, the children, amen, praise God, then they have a broken heart. Amen. Praise God. And it's a sad thing. Praise God. God bless you. Good evening to you. Praise God. Amen. It's a sad thing. Amen. When children are put in the middle and they have to choose which parent they want to be with. Amen. When they're put in that position. Amen. Praise God. Men and nights. Amen. They go to bed. Amen. <laughs> amen. Restless nights and sleepless nights. And praise God. Amen. Weeping at night because their heart is broken because they are torn between the two parents, amen, because, amen, of a breakdown in the marriage, amen, marriage failure, and it caused heartbreak, amen, and oftentimes, amen, praise God, we know that uh, 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 God doesn't condone, amen, divorce, amen, he doesn't, amen, unless it's for fornication, amen, or adultery, amen, praise God, amen, but you can't divorce your wife because she don't know how to cook, <laughs> amen, you can't, you can't divorce your husband because he's a couch potato, amen, Praise the name of God. That ain't no rule. That ain't no, no grounds to uh, divorce your spouse. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. But most of the time, praise God, for those who have had a broken heart, sometimes they feel like they are damaged goods. Hmm? Amen. They feel like they damaged goods. And amen. Praise God. Amen. You just got to hold to somebody who just can't be faithful. Amen. Praise God. You just got to hold to somebody who can't be who can't be faithful or trusted. Amen. Or loyal. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. That's why we have to pray. Praise the name of the Lord because there's so much danger out in the world today. So many people want to play the field. Amen. Praise God. And I will say this. If you're not willing to commit, amen, praise God, be in a monogamous relationship, amen, praise God, don't get married if you got to be still fooling around, amen, woman or man, amen, if you still, amen, want to play the field, well, just play the field, amen, don't get somebody heart tied up in there, amen, then you cause somebody's heart to be broken, and not, not only is their heart broken, church, they, amen, they, they bitter, <laughs> <laughs> amen. Pray God. You got amen. So many men want to know why so many bitter women. You know the reason why so many bitter women because they came across men that made them bitter. <laughs> amen. They probably will sweet. Sweeter than honey. Oh, somebody. Amen. Sweeter than honey. Honey, praise the name of the Lord. But they done became sour because someone had made them feel that way. Praise God. Vice versa with a man. Amen. Praise God. Man can, you know, have a sweet spirit. Amen. When I say sweet, I ain't saying he gay. Hello, somebody. I'm talking about he's sweet. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Kind. and Amen. But he just came across a woman. Amen. Praise God. Amen. That does not respect the, uh, the, 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 the leadership. I uh, uh, want that type of man. Hello, somebody. Praise God. So we got to be careful. You got to guard your heart. Amen. If you guard your heart, you can guard your heart from having a broken heart. And so, amen, oftentimes, amen, uh, you know, I said, uh, uh, either you, uh, do you have a broken heart? And we talking about broken heartedness. Broken heartedness. Amen. Amen. Many folks, amen, praise God, have a broken heart because of a loss of a job. Amen. Lost the job, cannot work, cannot provide for their family. Amen. Oftentimes people dedicate themselves to a job and amen. Praise God. Amen. And some people act like that's the only job available and stuff like that. And they'll let you know, praise God. Amen. They'll tell you we got applications coming in every day. Amen. So you not, you not, you not value. Amen. Praise God. You get down to that, that company is not gonna start rolling. Amen. Praise God. Amen. But if you lose your, they always say, uh, uh, what's that? Uh, the last hired, first fired or something like that. I believe I might be saying it wrong, but, uh, but, but some people have experienced, amen. Praise God. The, a, a broken heart. Amen. I, I know when I was, woo, uh, in my early twenties, well, probably late, 
in my teens, I believe. And I was managing a, a store, a, a restaurant in Houston. And uh, I, I had gotten an apartment and, and, and had a vehicle. And amen, I was independent. I had, you know, had my own money, a bank account. And, and, and one day I, I went to work not looking up to see if the, to see the things was gone off the counter and stuff like that. And I tried to put my key in the door and they had changed the locks. And when I looked up, everything was gone. And I believe the owner of that establishment waited till we left after cleaning up, after we left and doubled back and came and took everything, all the equipment out of the establishment. And so that means I was out of a job. I was broken hearted. I had a <laughs> broken hearted and broke, <laughs> broken hearted and broke. Amen. Praise God. Lost my apartment, <laughs> lost my vehicle. Amen. I had to go stay at the church at that time. Thank God for my pastor at that time. Amen. Pastor Jimmy Lee Collins. Amen. Praise God. I stayed at the church. Amen. But my heart was broken, but I couldn't stay in that state. Amen. Of depression. Amen. Praise God. Uh, uh, <laughs> I, I was lost, like <laughs> lawlessness. Amen. What I'm going to do. Amen. But I was able to get back on my feet. Amen. Because we know the scripture says, that, hey, cast your cares upon the Lord, for he cares for you. Amen. God made provision. And do you not know I was angry? Because I didn't get a paycheck. Amen. I didn't get a paycheck. And at that time, I didn't have knowledge to go to the unemployment office and file for this and file for that. Amen. I just looked at what happened. Looked like the rug was pulled from right up under me. Amen. Caused my heart to be broken because I was the type of person. I don't want to go back home. I, I like being out on my own. I like, you know, having my own space. Amen. But I was able to go to the church and stay there for a little while until I was able to find another job. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. So what, whatever concerns we have is what I'm saying. Whatever concerns we have, we need to take it to Jesus and Jesus will make a way. Jesus will fix it. Amen. Praise God. We always say the scripture say, oh yeah, I will. Because the Bible says, weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Praise the name of the Lord. Joy comes in the morning, but we got to cast our cares upon him. He cares for you. And sometimes we could talk to people, amen, about our troubles and they may be going through, amen. And I often say, pray God, sometimes we talk to people who can't help us, let alone help themselves, amen. We have to talk to the Lord, amen. That's what God wants us to do, amen. The loss of a job, and I tell you, oh, the, the, the next one, amen, calls broken heart is when people going to school, Amen. Going to school. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Junior high, high school. Amen. Amen. Elementary. Praise God. Pre-K. Amen. College. Amen. Whatever type of, amen, academics. Amen. Academic failure. Mm-hmm. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Uh, you try to pass the exam and you fail. Amen. Your heart is broken because you say, I study for that exam. I study. I study, I study, and and it, it looked like when it was time for me to take it, everything just I, I couldn't I couldn't retain uh everything that I have studied and and I know I didn't do my best and I failed. And it caused your heart to be broken and it caused your spirit to be broken. Not only that, it caused you to just throw in the towel, but you can't quit. Amen. Praise God. I always say before you quit, think about why you started. Mm-hmm. Amen. You're going to fail sometime. Amen. Pray. Failure sometimes is just a part of life. What did you learn in your failure? Mm-hmm. So many times old people in school, they, they flunk me or they, they try to retain me. Wait a minute. Sometimes that teacher just didn't like me, but did you turn in your assignments? Did you turn in your assignments? Uh-huh. Oh, bless the Lord. You didn't turn in your assignments? Mm-hmm. Amen. You shot hooky. Come on, talk to me, somebody. Amen. Praise God. And I tell you what, when you get to college, college is totally different from high school. Amen. Those professors, amen, professors can care less. If you come, you don't come. It's on you because they have their degree. 
Amen. Praise God. So, amen. You have to study. You have to put your, your, your face in the books. Amen. Praise God. But oftentimes, amen, I remember, amen, graduated from MB Smiley High School. And, and they were calling people's name. They said, y'all in the bleachers, when we call your name, come to the to the floor. And, 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 and boy, they were calling people's names. And they called my name. And a whole lot of them were still in the bleachers. And they said, those who are in the bleachers, you will not march. You will not march because you don't have the credits to graduate. And so some of us were singing the song by the wine as millions didn't make it. But I was the one, I was one of the ones who did. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And so so many times, praise God, amen. Amen. If you don't apply yourself, amen. Not only was that student heartbroken, but the parents, amen heart was broken. Y'all know how it go. You know how you go when you get invitations and you send out invitations. Amen. Oh, my son. Oh, my grandbaby. Oh, my great-grandchild graduated. You send all kind of uh, invitations out to, to your kin people. You want them to come, amen, and help celebrate you and, and, and celebrate your achievement as graduating. But well, oh, that be bring to a halt. If you fail, if you fail, and so not only is your heart broken, but your parents and those who love you hearts uh, are broken. Amen. We talking about a broken heart. And so Psalms 40, uh, Psalms, excuse me, Psalms 34 and 18 said, the Lord is not unto them that are of a broken heart. What you talking about, Henderson? The Lord is near those of a broken heart. The Lord is near those of a broken heart and save it such as be of a contrite spirit. Amen. A contrite spirit. Amen. Those who are crushed in a spirit and a contrite spirit, you know, a person who have a remorseful spirit. Amen. They, they sorry for what they have done, you know, and so God is near those. Amen. God is near those who have a broken heart. Your heart been broken to pieces. Amen. Been broken to pieces. Amen. But God see, God see, your, amen, your tears and God see what's going on. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Because that's what it says. Amen. The Lord is close to the broken heart, to those who are broken hearted. Amen. Broken heart. Amen. God is near you. He's close to you. Amen. He rescues those whose spirit are crushed. Amen. Just spirit is crushed. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. God is near you. God, God can bind up the womb. Amen. He binds. God can heal. Amen. That's what God can do. Amen. When we turn over to him, turn it over to Jesus. Amen. That's what we have to do because I believe Isaiah, Isaiah 61 and 1 said, the spirit of the Lord God is up on me. This is what the prophet Isaiah said, because the Lord has anointed me to preach good what tidings unto the meek, and he sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. That's why I said we have to turn to Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Amen. I believe it's also in the book of Luke. I find it. Amen. Praise the same thing. Jesus said the same thing in the book of Luke. Uh, amen. Praise God. But he said he sent me to bind up the broken heart to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to them that are bound. Amen. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all that mourn. Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Sometimes a broken heart will cause you to mourn. And the Bible says, blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comfort. Amen. We can find comfort in, in God. Amen. We can find consolation in, in God. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Oh, bless the name. Amen. Bless his name. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So when we look at the scripture also, amen, it says, church, what do you do when your heart is bro broken? What do you do when your heart is broken? Amen. I mean, some people, amen, amen, some people drink, amen, praise God, amen, some people smoke, amen, some people do drugs, amen, some people eat, 
Amen. They do uh, things to try to, amen, bring comfort to themselves. Amen. But can't, no, can't nobody, <laughs> only person can fill a void in your life is Jesus. I use the analogy all the time. Amen. If you thirsty, if you thirsty, we know, amen, uh, Gatorade and uh, Powerade and uh, sweet tea and uh, amen. Praise God. I used to drink that, amen, <laughs> that old sweet tea from Chicken Express. It was real sweet. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Diabetes waiting to happen. Amen. Real sweet. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. But nothing could quench your thirst like water. Amen. Like water. Amen. Praise God. Amen. 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 So once again, when we are going through, we have to turn to Jesus. Amen. Turn to Jesus. Amen. Why do you say turn to Jesus? Hey, Pastor Henderson, because I believe Hebrews 4.15 says, For we have not a high priest which cannot be touched with the feelings of our infirmities. In other words, amen, we have a, a high priest. That high priest is Jesus. He understands. He knows what we're going through because he was human as well as divine. Jesus had pain as well. Amen. Jesus went through. So he understands what we are going through. Amen. He will wipe the tears from our eyes. Oh, yes, he will. Yes, he will. If we trust him. So what do you do? Amen. Amen. Well, what do you do? Amen. Praise God. When you have a, a broken heart. Amen. We have a, a broken heart. I mean, many people, when they have a headache, they take an aspirin. Amen. If you, uh, amen, praise God, have a toothache, some people get oral gel. Amen. All kind of things. Amen. When you got some aches and pains, some people get icy hot. All these type of things. But what do you do for a broken heart? Amen. What do you do? Amen. Is there a cure for for a broken heart and for a broken spirit, Jesus is the answer. Amen. In the opening scripture, what we read, the open scripture, amen, the 147th uh, division of Psalm, the third verse, he healeth the broken in heart. He healeth the broken in heart and binded up their wounds. Amen. Oh, it tells us where to run to. Amen. We run to Jesus. Amen. We run to Jesus. Amen. Oftentimes, praise the name of the Lord, when, amen, when they're grief, amen, we have a loss of a loved one. Amen. Sometimes, amen, praise God, if, if some folks can't console you because they don't know what to say, if they're hurting, if they are hurting, if they're going through, amen. But I will tell you, we have to lean and depend on God's word. Amen. We can talk to the Lord about anything. And we can find comfort and we can find consolation, amen, in the word of God. Amen. I, I tell you, it's hard. I, I'm going to say this. It's hard to, to get advice from folks, amen, who haven't lost a parent. Well, I, I could testify to that. Amen. If you lost a parent, amen, and I, I could say this because uh, uh, my dad in his last days and we would talk and and he told me, he said, son, let, don't never let nobody tell you how long you're supposed to grieve because they don't know what type of relationship you had with that person. And so once again, people, you know, some people could tell you, well, you could do this. Well, you could do that. No, you can't tell me nothing if you ain't never said in my shoes. Hello, somebody. Amen. Praise God. I say that also. I mean, you can't hardly tell me nothing if you haven't lost a sibling. I lost a sibling as well. Amen. And we had a good relationship. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So I had to lean on Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Amen. I had to lean and depend on Jesus. Amen. I never suffered. I, amen. I thank God for my children, but I've never been that place. Amen. To lose a child. Amen. To lose a child. Amen. So people just don't know. I could talk to my, my dad, my father. Amen. Praise God. When we lost our ba my baby brother, he said, people just don't know the pain. Just don't know the pain. Amen. His heart was broken. I seen my dad. He was crushed. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Oftentimes he would talk to me and I thank God. You know, I thank God that he put me in a position. Not only was he my father, but I, I was his pastor. Amen. Amen. Praise God. So oftentimes we talk, amen, and talk about the word and try to encourage him through the word of God. Seeing some things that cause his heart to bleed, like I said. 
cause his heart to bleed, amen. And when things will come up around, he will call me or we, we will meet and we will talk, amen. Praise God. I don't believe in a bunch of foolishness when it comes down to the word of God, the word of God. I, I, I stand on God's word and I believe God's word, amen. Praise God, amen. And we sing a song, have you tried Jesus? Amen. Have you tried Jesus? Because Jesus is all right. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Praise God. So in other words, if you got a broken heart, you got to run to Jesus. Amen. Run to Jesus. Get in his word. We can find comfort in his word. When you can't find comfort, amen, no way else. Sometimes people try to look for temporary comfort. Temp <laughs> they try to get temporary relief. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. But you can, amen, amen, go to Jesus because, amen, he is our refuge. He is our strength. Amen. Praise God. A present help in time of trouble. Amen. We can run to Jesus. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. And we could talk to him. That's the good part about it. We could talk to him and let him know how we feel. He already know. Amen. Praise God. God would allow you to vent. <laughs> talk to him. Lord, I, you know, I see the pain. I'm getting to the lesson here. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So what we have to do, like the scripture said, amen, get in God's word and feed. Feed on the word of God. Feed on the word of God and declare him upon your heart. Huh? Oh, bless the Lord. Look for a scripture. That's why it's good. I always say this, what the scripture says. Study to show thyself approval unto God. I believe it's in Timothy. Study to show thyself approval unto God. A work that need not be ashamed, but rightly dividing the word of truth. Amen. Praise God. So if we could get in God's word when times come up, amen, amen, hard times and, 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 and sadness. And some people say, I got the Christmas blues. I got the, the holiday blues. Find a scripture. Find a scripture, find a scripture in God's word that you can find comfort in, that you can find comfort in, amen, amen, to encourage your soul, amen, praise God, and lay all your burdens on Jesus, huh? Like I said, 1 Peter 5 and 7, casting all your cares upon him, for he careth for you. That's what the scripture said. That's what the Bible said. And we have to rely on God's word every day. Oh, we have to rely on God's word. Amen. Psalms 55 and 22 say, uh, cast thy burdens. Cast thy burdens. Amen. That brokenheartedness. Cast it upon the Lord and he shall sustain thee. He will keep you. Amen. Amen. Pray God. He also said he will keep those in perfect. <laughs> he said, Thou will keep him in perfect peace, whose what? Whose mind is stayed on thee. Am I right? Pray God. God will keep us in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on him. Oh, bless the Lord. Amen. Get, amen. Put it on Jesus. Put it on Jesus. Jesus can handle it. Whatever we have, Jesus can handle it, y'all. Pray God. There's nothing too hard for the Lord. Am I right about it? There's nothing too hard for the Lord. There's nothing that the Lord Almighty can't handle. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So he said what? He said, cast thy burden upon the Lord. Huh? That's the formula right there. Sometimes we want to carry the old burden. Sometimes we want to carry that. Just carry it. Hmm? No. We're going to carry it to the Lord and leave it there. That's what it is. Take your burden to the Lord and leave them there. Amen. They used to say, take your burden to the altar and leave there. When you get off the altar, don't, don't pack, don't, don't be a pack mule and, and take it up and pack it back with you. Amen. Praise God. Like they say when you go to church, you don't have to leave the way you came. Amen. Praise. He said, Do I cast thy burdens upon the Lord, and he shall sustain thee, and he shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. Hmm? Ask God to heal your broken heart, and he will heal you and bind your wounds. I was talking about Isaiah uh, 61 and 1, but I'll go to Luke 4 and 18 because this is Jesus talking. Jesus said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor, to preach the gospel to the poor. And listen, what else? He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted. 
Hmm? Sent him to heal the brokenhearted. That's what it said. And to preach deliverance to the captives and recovering of sight to the blind. Whole lot of folks are blind. Hmm? You can have 2020 vision and still be blind. You can have bifocal glasses and still be blind. You can have trifocals. You can have, amen. You can have contacts and still be blind. We're talking about spiritual blind. We know that Jesus opened the blinded eyes, the physical. But there are some, praise the name of the Lord, that are spiritually blind. And Satan would have you to be blind uh -huh, to the word of God. It's Satan desire that you walk around with a broken heart. Mm -hmm. Oh, bless the Lord. That, 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 it, it, it's designed that way. He wants you to walk around with a broken heart. Amen. Pray God. He wants you to be content in the state that you're in, but God says it's not so. Amen. Because he, re the recovering of the sight to the blind and to set at liberty them that are bruised. Amen. Them that are bruised. He set at liberty them that are bruised. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. So Psalm 31, 24 said, be a good courage. Be a good courage and, 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 he, and, and he shall, excuse me, and he shall, God shall strengthen your heart. He will strengthen your heart. All ye that hope in the Lord. He will strengthen your heart. Hmm? Oh, bless the Lord. I'm going to say this. Amen. Praise God. Because I, I'm, I'm reminded in the scripture. Amen. We're talking about a broken heart. And I'm reminded about uh, Mary, Martha, and Lazarus. Amen. I believe it's the 11th chapter of John. Amen. Praise the 11th chapter of John. The, the first verse. And I believe the Bible said uh, uh, that was a certain man that was sick by the name of Lazarus of Bethany. In the, in, the, in the town of Mary and, and her sister Martha. And so Lazarus was sick. Lazarus was sick. And they sent word to Jesus. They sent word to Jesus and saying, whom thou loveth is sick. Now notice that Jesus, every time he went to Bethany, he went to the house of Mary, Martha, and Lazarus. Amen. They, they, they were brothers and sisters. Amen, brother. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Lazarus was their brother, the two sisters, Mary and Martha. And, and, and so they sent word to, to Jesus that whom thy love is sick. Mm -hmm. and, and Jesus heard it. Jesus heard it. And Jesus said, this sickness is not unto death, but for the glory of God, that the Son of God might be glorified thereby. In the fifth verse, if you look at uh, John, the 11th chapter, the fifth verse, it said, now Jesus loved Martha and her sister, which is Mary, and Lazarus, which is their brother. And the Bible said when he had heard that he was sick, where well, Jesus was, he abode two days still in the same place where he was. And so, therefore, amen, praise God, to make a long story short and just move it up, praise God, Lazarus died. Lazarus died. Lazarus died. And then they took their journey to meet with uh, uh, Mary and Martha. And so the Bible says, praise God, amen, it was, they was headed to Bethany, amen, they was near Jerusalem, about 15 furloughs off. And many of the Jews, I believe the scripture said, came to Mary Mark to comfort them. Come to comfort them because why? Their heart was broken. Why? Because their brother Lazarus died. Hmm? Amen. So we look at the scripture. Amen. Praise God. It said in uh, uh, the 20th verse, said, Then Martha, as soon as she heard that Jesus was coming, Oh, she didn't stay in that house sitting up there weeping and crying. Mm-hmm. Amen. She got up and she went and she met Jesus. But Mary sat still in the house. Mary was still in the house. Yes, she was. She was still in the house, but Martha got up to meet Jesus. And then Martha said unto Jesus, Oh, bless the Lord. You know, some people are like, well, oh, she probably gave Jesus a piece of her mind because she 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 was very much aware of what Jesus could do. She said, she said, Jesus, she said unto Jesus, Lord, if thou had been here, if you had been here, my brother had not died. Hmm? If you had been here, my brother had not died. 
But I know that even now, whatsoever thou wilt ask of God, God will give it thee. Oh, she had confidence in God. She took her problems to the Lord. The Lord already knew, but she was conveying over to him, Lord, if you hadn't, if you had been here, he'll be still alive right now. Jesus said unto Martha, thy brother shall rise again. Oh, bless the Lord. That was some confident words right there. Amen. That was some confident words right there. That, 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 was, that, that, was, that was some strong stuff right there. Mm -hmm. He told her, your, your brother going to rise again. And, but see, Martha was very much aware of the resurrection. The Bible said, Martha said unto Jesus, I know that he shall rise again in the resurrection at the last day. In other words, you know, I know I see him again. I, I'll meet him again. But hold up. Pump the brakes on that thing because Jesus going to let her know something right then. Praise God. He said, he told Martha, he said, I am the resurrection mm -hmm. and life. And he that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Amen. In other words, Jesus will let know you don't have to wait that long. You don't have to wait that long. Amen. Praise God. And just as well as Martha had a conversation uh, with Jesus, uh, Mary had a conversation <laughs> with Jesus. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. It's going down to 31, y'all. Y'all might have to read in its entirety, John, in the 11th chapter. It said, the Jews then, which were with her in the house, and comforted her when uh, they saw Mary, when they saw Mary, that she rose up hastily and went out, followed her. They followed after her and said, she goeth unto the grave to weep there. They already had it in mind. She better run out there to the grave and weep there. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Oh, amen. Oh, Mary, don't you weep. <laughs> Tell Martha, don't you moan. Amen. Praise God. Then when Mary was come where Jesus was, amen. Now she uh, going to have a conversation with Jesus. That's what he wanted. He wanted to have a conversation with him about what's going on. He already knew what was going on. Amen. Oftentimes the Lord already uh, uh, know what we have need of before. Amen. We even ask him. He know we need comfort, but he want us to talk to him. He know what, what our needs are. He know what our needs are. And, and, and when she saw him, she fell at his feet, saying unto him the same thing that her sister Martha said. She echoed the same thing. Lord, if thou had been here, my brother had not died. Now, I'm going to tell you something. Jesus, like I said, he is human as well as divine. When Jesus, therefore, saw her weeping, mm -hmm, saw her weeping, and the Jews also weeping, which came with her, he groaned in his spirit and was troubled. Look at that. It, it touched the heartstring of Jesus to see Martha and Mary and the Jews that were with them to comfort them see what they was going through. Their hearts was broken. Why? Because Lazarus had died. The fifth verse said that Jesus loved Mary, Martha, and Lazarus. And so in order to stop all that. Because hmm? he will wipe the tears from out. He will bring comfort and consolation. Yes, he will. Amen. Praise God. Amen. He said, where have ye laid him? In other words, where is he? <laughs> and they said unto him, Lord, come and see. And this is the verse, praise God. Amen. I think the shortest verse in the Bible. Amen. John 11 and 35. Amen. So that let me know Jesus was moved with emotion. Amen. He was moved with emotion because when he saw Mary and Martha going through. Amen. But he was going to put a stop to that because the Bible says Jesus wept. That lets me know he, he, he had some emotions. He cried. Jesus wept. Amen. Praise God. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Amen. We go a little bit further down. Like I said, if you read the word, amen, Jesus said, take, <laughs> in other words, amen, show me where you laid him. And, and Jesus, therefore, groaning again, uh, and gro you know, groaning again, uh, groaning uh, uh, in, in, in himself, uh, come to the grave. He came to the grave and he came where the cave, amen, and a stone was laid upon it. And Jesus said, take away the stone. <laughs> take away the stone. Martha, the sister of him that was dead, said unto, said unto him, Lord, 
By this time, he stinketh. <laughs> he been dead for four days. He stinketh, Lord. <laughs> Amen. Praise God. He stinking. Amen. Amen. Paul, when he starts thinking, you know he did. Mm -hmm. But a miracle was going to uh, happen before their eyes. Amen. Praise God. He's he, 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 he been here. He's been dead for four days. He's been dead for four days. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Jesus said unto her, Say I not unto thee that if thou wouldest believe, thou shouldest see the glory of God. If you believe. If you believe, you're going to see the manifestation of the glory of God. You're going to see, you're going to see the, the power of God in action. Hallelujah. You're going to see the power of God in action. Praise the name of the Lord. Because the scripture tells us what? Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. You're going you're gonna to see the movement of God. You're going to see the move of God. Praise God. The 41st verse says, Then they took away the stone from the, from the place where the dead was laid. And Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank thee that thou hast heard me. Huh? Oh, when you could pray to the Lord. Oh, bless the Lord. We got to keep that prayer, uh, uh, have a prayer life and keep that prayer line open. Oh, praise God. We can't allow anything to call our, cause our line to be disconnected. We have to have a prayer life. Because the Bible says man should always pray. And Jesus said, I knew. But that's confidence. Y'all, that's confidence, what Jesus is going to say in the second verse. He said, and I knew that thou, what, thou heareth me always. You heareth me always. And because of the people which stand by, I say, say it, that they may believe that thou hast sent me. Look at that. He said, for the benefit of, I know, in other words, Jesus knew what the Father could do. But for those, for the benefit of those who don't believe, they was going to witness a miracle. They was going to witness a miracle, pray God. Those whose heart was broken would no longer have a heart that was broken, but they would be uh, ha having a, 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 a cheerful heart, amen, a heart of rejoicing, amen, praise God, an uplifted spirit, amen. Their, their, their spirit is not broken and their heart is not broken. But we said it in the 43rd verse, it's saying, when he thus had spoken, he cried with a loud voice. Look at Jesus. He just spoke it. Lazarus, come forth. That's all what he said. Lazarus, come forth. Oftentimes, theologians say he could have said come forth, and if he did, everybody in the grave would have got up. Just the power of God. He spoke it into existence. Amen. He said his word would never return to him void. He called him by his name. Amen. Praise God. The dead in Christ shall rise, you all. Amen. Oh, we can find consolation in God's word. Tell the Lord, thank you. Amen. He said, Lazarus, come forth. And he that was dead, do you what? Came forth, bound hand and foot with grave clothes. And his faith, his face, Amen. Were bound about with a napkin. And Jesus said unto them, loose him and let him go. <laughs> loose him and let him go. Amen. Then many of the Jews which came to Mary and had seen the things which Jesus did, believed on him. He worked a miracle. Amen. Jesus worked a miracle. Amen. He's still in the miracle working Business. Amen. If your heart is broken, if your spirit is crushed, go to Jesus. Amen. Go to Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Like I said, many of us, hearts have been broken, and we may have broken some people's hearts. And so, therefore, we have to pray. Ask God to forgive us and ask the ones whose hearts we have broken to forgive us as well and forgive those who have broken our heart. Amen. Praise God. So that was a prayer. Amen. Church, praise God. Amen. It says, Dear God, I am guilty of two charges. He said, I have hurt others. I have caused them to feel brokenhearted. I have also had my feelings and pride hurt so that I too became brokenhearted. In both cases, I should have turned to you for the help. So he turned to him for help, for strength and courage. I need it. Please forgive me for turning inward when you were there all the time to help me. Please forgive me, Lord, for those I have 
alienated through not controlling my tongue. Amen. And for not giving careful attention to the person's need. Please forgive me for not running to you when my heart was broken by, by another, by someone else. I know you are just a proud way and that you love me. Please help me to remember that I have sinned, but that you are waiting lovingly to forgive me. Please forgive me now in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Amen. I pray, amen, that this uh, lesson on tonight, amen, was helpful. Amen. Talking about uh, are you brokenhearted or is your heart broken? Amen. Amen. Praise God. And God, amen, praise God. God is all we need. Amen. God is all we need. We can talk to the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. He can bind up those wounds. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. So once again, praise God. We have a YouTube channel. Amen. Subscribe to that. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. We thank God for the support. Those who tune in. Amen. For the real time gospel hour. Amen. Praise God. Teaching God's word. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Because that's what we need in this day and time. God's word. Y'all. God's word. We need to pray. Pray like never before. Amen. We need to pray. The saints of God need to pray. Amen. Pray for the condition of the world. Amen. Pray. Amen. For unsaved loved ones. Amen. Unsaved acquaintances, people that you know. Pray for the condition of the world because we're living in turbulent time. We're living in dangerous time, the Bible said. We're living in perilous time. Amen. We're living in the last day. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. That caused your heart to be broken as well. When you see the condition of the world today, how people treat one another. Amen. The Bible says, for the love of many, amen, how wax cold. We so cold toward each other. You know, even if a person, amen, try to repent and people, well, you ain't for real and you you this, they may make it difficult for a person to try to repent. Amen. I'm talking about people in the church. I ain't saying people outside of the church because sometimes people outside of the church will forgive you. Amen. Praise God. Amen. You got to turn flips and cartwheels. If you just, I, amen, I apologize and I repent. Amen. Praise God. But we have, amen, praise God. Sometimes the church have taken on the mentality of the world, called the scripture say, for the love of many shall wax cold. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Praise God. When we, amen, the scripture tells us, you all, amen, to be reconciled with our brothers and sisters. And if we have ought against our brothers and sisters, go to him and him alone. That's what the scripture says. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. To avoid, amen, broken uh, broken relationship, to, to avoid, amen, to have a, a broken heart. Amen. We have to do, amen, praise God, what does say the Lord. Amen. We have to make straight path for our feet. Amen. Praise God. Once again, we thank God for you tuning in. We pray, amen, if it's the Lord's will that you have a happy, amen, a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Amen. Coming up. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Looking for God to do, amen, great things. Amen. Regardless of what's going on, God is still good. Amen. His uh, mercies, amen, is everlasting. Praise God. Amen. So, amen. We just thank God once again for your support. Continue to uh, pray for us, and we will continue to pray for you. Amen. Praise God. We're going to go back. We're going to leave out, amen, <laughs> amen, on a purple hull, peas, and cornbread song. Amen. I call it the granny song. Amen. Praise the name of God. Thank God for grandmothers. Thank God for great-grandmothers. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. I tell you back then, they cook food, real food. They cook purple hull peas and cornbread and uh, collard greens and amen. Praise God. Didn't know nothing about, uh, amen, talking about going to the chicken play. They got a chicken out of chicken coop and rang, rang, rang his neck. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And they, they, those who had hogs, amen, and hog killing season, they killed a hog. Amen. And praise God. I remember those days. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. But I tell how old I am. But I remember those days, praise God, that they cook, amen, and they taught you how to cook, but amen, but we had to work, amen, praise God, couldn't be sitting around, amen, when you went, amen, to Fairfield, Texas, amen, praise the name of the Lord, amen, they taught you how to work, 
Amen. They taught you about the word of God. Enjoy. Amen. And after this, praise God. Amen. Well, till we meet again, if it's the Lord's will on Monday. Pray God to tell you to pray for us. Amen. Enjoy. This is the granny song. Many of us had grandparents or grandmothers in our lives that influenced us. This goes back to the late Mr. James Wade Jr. We used to talk on the phone reminiscing his children who were growing up going to Fairfield, Texas. Granny gave a mighty purple hug, easy golden bread. Lower than purple hug, easy golden bread. Lower than purple hug, easy golden bread. And she told us the word of God. And she told us the word of God. Listen. To Fairfield, some of my cousins thought it was a thrill. We could stay up all night. Had to be up by the morning light. Went out into the field. They gave us a basket, and it had to be filled. Picking peas in the hot sun. You didn't stop working till your work was done. You say, Grand, my back is hurt. She said, Oh boy, you don't have no back, you got a bristle. <laughs> Granny gave us more than purple hope, peas and corn bread. More than purple hope, peas and corn bread. Amen. That's the granny song. Amen. Gave, she gave us more than purple hug, peas, and cornbread. They taught us, amen, the word of God. Amen. Continue to pray for us, and we will continue to pray for you. God bless. Amen. Enjoy. Amen. Your holidays. Merry Christmas. Amen. And you have a blessed, happy new year, and be safe. Amen. Be safe. Amen. This virus is still out there, y'all. Be safe. Amen. And be blessed. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Amen. And amen.